Okay, I think I've picked a spot that I want to land at. Now, I have a map in front of me, and I would suggest going to kerbalmaps.com when you're doing this, because they have a great map for the moon. We're able to kind of see where all of the different biomes are, because there are plenty of them. So, I think there's 12 in total. There's the Midlands, the Midland Craters, the Highlands, the Highlands Craters, the Poles, the Polar Lowlands, the Polar Crater, the Northern Basin, the East Crater, the Northwest Crater, the Southwest Crater, the Farside Crater, the East Farside Crater, the Twin Craters, and the Canyon. So, for instance, this right here, what we're looking at right here, this is the uh, the East Farside Crater, I think. Yes, and it has a canyon, so that's two biomes in one. And then just above this, you have the um, the Midlands. And then you have the Midland Craters. So you've got the the big one, you have the canyons, you have the Midlands, you have the Midland Craters. But just below and off over here, this is the Highlands. So, you know, it, it changes pretty rapidly. And then uh, this, this uh, yeah, this crater right here is the, I think it's just the Highland Crater. Yes, because that, those are in the Highlands. And then this is the... Um, I'm looking at the map here. It's the far side crater, and there's some more canyons. And then the other side, we can't really see anything. So what I want to do is I'm going to go around once or twice. So let's go around once. And uh, I really need this open because i got to keep an eye on this stuff. We shouldn't run into any issues with uh, our carbon dioxide or anything getting too high. But, you know, just, just to be safe. Okay, so this has put us in a bit better of a spot. I think I want to go around one more time. That's the twin craters there. And just off from the twin craters is a crater like off over here. That's the I think that's the one that I want. It's the east crater. But let's speed up. Now when I get to the other side what now I'm only gonna have really enough fuel for like one of these missions, right? So Let's look at it. You know, we're we still got to slow down, right? And I want to make sure that uh, I have enough fuel to get back. So I may not be able to jump to different biomes like I wanted to. And honestly, I probably would have only gone to one other biome. So that's why I'm trying to make it really close, like landing on a bit of an edge. And that should allow us to do that. But maybe not, you know. Okay, let's wait how high are we 10,000 that's not bad see honestly I want to like land right there and it's gonna be pretty close it is going to be quite close now if I set up a maneuver node on us or close to us would I be able to no that's not the direction I want to go I kind of want to go this way so maybe a little bit more yeah, okay. I think that's where I need it to be, but where's the maneuver node? There it is. Okay, good. I'm just gonna make the burn here. Okay, so what I'm doing here, and I'm, I'm gonna prove, or prove it to you of what I'm trying to do, is the crater that I want to land in is this crater. The moon's gonna rotate a bit more, and we should land pretty close to that. Uh, that's the plan, at least. Now, with the height, I sh it should be close. It should be close. So I'm going to slow down a bit more, which will help us get to that point. I just got to find retrograde. There it is. I really need to install the enhanced nav ball. Again, I uh, may have uninstalled that recently because it was causing issues. But uh, that looks pretty good. All right, we're going to save, and now we're going to go in. Now, you can imagine everybody back on Kerbin is, is quite a bit excited for this. This is the first time they've gotten to the moon with a Kerbal. And I'm 100% certain that Jebediah is loving it. Look at the look on his face. You can barely see it through the the reflection on his visor there. But you you could tell he is, he is ecstatic. You know, he's the first Kerbal to do this, to, to go in to orbit around the moon and to begin landing 
on the moon. Now, we are on the dark side. I don't like that too much. How much energy is this going to use up? A lot. So I'm going to I'm gonna use my light sparingly here. We're at about 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, so let's slow down time. Uh, we need to flip around to retrograde because we need to start performing a slowdown maneuver. Where the heck are we even? Oh, we're, we're kind of close to where I wanted to be. Okay, let's burn to slow down. First things first, right? I want to get down below 200. And it's going to be really difficult to see where the heck we're landing here. So first thing I'm going to do is crew report. Keep that data. We're going to get this. We're going to do that. Actually, you know what? We could probably send that data back. We, we have like 55 science or something like that. So it's not super terrible with how much we actually have gained thus far. <clears throat> I do want to do a quick EVA, but I'm a little worried about the speed that we're going. So I'm trying to slow down a bit more. Okay, that's better. Let's EVA quickly get that report. Yep, keep it. Get back in. And just going to do like uh, do we need to burn? I mean, not really, right? I'm going to turn my lights on here. I have no idea where we're landing, but this is definitely, yeah, we're way above where the actual crater is that we want to land in. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. I do want to slow down a bit more. And let's get our gears out. Okay, we if we had another one of these science bays, I would totally use it right now, but that uh, is not going to happen at the moment. Also going to send this while I still have some sun on me. That'll help. Because then I can regenerate some of that energy back. And we're going to have just enough fuel to get back to Kerbin, I believe. Okay, and... Now we're going straight up and down. That's what I want to see. We are going to land on a hill, so I'm going to need to be... Uh, pretty good on figuring out our angle here. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. Okay, let's slow down. Slow down a bit more. If I come in at about five, that should be good, but this is looking like a massive hill. So I need to uh, I need to go down this direction. Now, remember Jebediah, this man has been planning this for quite a while. He's been training He's been getting it all sorted out of how he's going to be landing. Obviously, they had no idea where he would be landing. And that just happened to be at the, uh, you know, a, a, the biggest hill he could possibly find. Which isn't the first or last time that'll ever happen to us. Usually, I try to land on flat places. But that's quite difficult to do, believe it or not. <laughs> because you you can plan to, like, a, a T of where you're going to come down at. But it, it can be sometimes pretty difficult to um, get it just right. So, let's whoop, whoop, burn hard. Okay, we're, we're going very quickly um, at an angle here, so I need to adjust that. Where is it? There it is. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, geez, no, it won't pull up. Why? Okay, well, I don't think that's what he had in mind, but you know what? Okay, we're going to try this again. Okay, one more time. Maybe if I just a little bit of... Oh. Okay, I have an idea. can't believe I just did that. That, <laughs> that was pro. Okay. Whew. That was nice. All right. I need, to, I need to take a moment after that.
All right, I've gotten some water. I'm good to go. <laughs> that was uh, that was close. That was really close. I thought that was for sure going to break. I'm surprised that it didn't. But it was a pretty cool jump that it did, let's be honest. All right. First things first, we have the science bays that we want to do. So we want to observe. We got that. Now, maybe I should have used the other one in low carbon orbit. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one when we take off. Um, which is going to be... You can kind of see the magnitude of the hill here. It's it's pretty massive. Yes, I thank you. Okay, I got that. I'm going to do another one of these. Cool. I'm going to do one of these. Crew report. Yep. Let's keep that. Uh, where are we at with everything? Okay, not bad. Let's hop out real quick. We are going to turn on our... Uh, come on. Let it go. Let it go. Uh, uh, uh. Now, remember, Jebediah is a well-trained professional. And he does not get stuck in things such as this and i'm 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 stuck okay he, so maybe he does get stuck but i i literally can't get out of this if i switch to the vessel i can't change uh anything because it's not manned anymore so unfortunately with that awesome <laughs> recovery landing i'm literally going to have to reload which totally sucks it quick loaded me all the way back here. So I'm back. <laughs> I haven't even made my maneuver yet to land. Uh, which I guess is kind of fine. I want to land in a different spot. That whole thing didn't happen. Epic maneuver to recover, but totally didn't happen. That was uh, simulation work. So now I kind of need to figure out where to slow down at. Probably right about there. And just bring that in. Whoops. Let's see where that eh, roughly how that would land us. Oops. So either way, I'm going to be landing kind of on the darker side of things, unless I bring this up like so. Uh, in which case, I'll be landing somewhere over there. Okay. That'll... Sure, that'll work. Let's, let's try that. Uh, I only need to burn 49 meters a second. That's not too bad. We just need to get to the, the place. Now, this will put us in a different landing spot. Hopefully not on a ridge. And hopefully not so dark, too. I, I, I try to avoid landing on the dark side of things because it does make it a little difficult to land, first of all. And secondly, it doesn't really give you guys a good idea of what's actually going on because it's so dark, it, it is pretty hard to see, especially on a... YouTube video, you know, it's, it does uh, artifact that a little bit. So, you know, I uh, I try not to have any any dark sided landings. That being said, when I get some bigger ships, I think it would be pretty cool to see what it looks like. So, you know, that's also on the tables of potential things that I may do. All right, let's see where our periapsis is at. Uh, it's pretty good. I can dig it. We'll land pretty much off over here ish. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna quick save now, and we'll see if it loads properly next time. Because I could have sworn I quick saved before I came down, but it didn't really do much. Alright, let's, uh, let's zoom forward a bit. We're gonna get into low moon orbit once again. And do our procedure that we did last time with getting all of the science stuff. Now, the thing that I did, or didn't do, is get one of these science base. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure low moonar orbit is is 10,000, but I could totally be wrong on that, and I probably am, so I'm just going to plan for 10,000 and do it that way, because as we saw, I was able to slow down more than enough once we hit 10,000, but this place does look very, very, very hilly. Uh, not so much what it was before. We landed like on something like this, or it was just a massive hill. But for the most part, it looks a little better. Maybe we're landing in the exact same spot. Hard to tell. Actually, we're pretty close to it. We landed like up above this crater before. Okay, uh, 12,000. Let's speed up just a little bit. And right there. Ah, oh, this place is looking a little better. Cool. Let's see what this gives us. Crew report uh, in space near the moon. 
After this is done transmitting, I'm gonna do that again. Okay, 15 signs, crew report, no, okay. That is fine. Let's get one of these. Did it, did it do it? Did view data, keep, okay, we're gonna do one of these. I'm just like keeping an eye on the ground there. And last thing is this, so quickly, EVA report, keep it, yeah, get in. And we're going to review stored data and we're going to transmit that. Now, it's time to slow the heck down because we are coming at the ground rapidly. <laughs> and that is not fun for anybody, especially Jebediah who, is, you know, he's the one that's at risk here. At least we have some sunlight, so I'm cool with that. That'll help us out a little bit, figuring out how we're gonna land. We're also not necessarily coming in at a desirable angle, but as we slow down, it should start putting us more vertical and less horizontal, which is what we're at now. Uh, and you'll see that as soon as we hit the brakes here on a second. And right about there. See, it just swings up to verticality, which I'm okay with that. That uh, used about as much fuel, maybe a little less. And for the most part, we're landing on a flat spot. So this is going generally a lot better. And I also don't think I really need to worry too much. I'm just gonna do another one of these, why not? I don't think I have to worry too much about how quickly I'm coming in at, because I think I could burn the rest of my speed off very, very, very quickly. But it's a matter of um, getting it just right, so I'm not using up a ton of fuel. But right there. That was pretty good, actually. All things considered, that was really good. The texture on the moon looks really good from this angle, too. Glad we're not on the dark side. You wouldn't be able to appreciate that. 12, 10, 9... Seven. Just slow it down a bit more. Seven. Uh, six. Five. Five meters a second is good. Two. Okay. That could have been more gentle, but you know what? I'll take it. Crew report. Let's transmit that. That's an extra 20 science. We got this done, which gives us quite a bit of stuff. Uh, actually, we got double that done. What was the other one? Success. Oh, nice. Cool. Got 30 science out of that one. Cool, cool. Let's do the other science bay. Materials bay. I keep calling it a science bay. I know. I apologize. We'll do two of these. I think one has diminishing returns on it, but that's fine. And then we will get out and plant our flag. I am going to quick save here as well. How many do we have left? We have just one of those. Perfect. EVA. Thank you.